Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to change your voice in GarageBand. So I've already recorded a little bit of audio in GarageBand. So the first thing we need to do is open up the library, which is the button in the top left. You should see the same options that I have, voice, acoustic guitar, electric guitar, and legacy. So we want to go to legacy, and then we're going to click on GarageBand, and we have a few different options. We want to go to vocals, the very bottom option. And we have some more options. We have no effects, we have Epic Diva, so on and so forth. Let's go ahead and choose for this one deeper vocals. So we click on it. Then we also want to click on the effect controls, which is this little knob up here at the top. Okay. Then the main ones we can mess with to change our voice are in the vocal transformer group. So these four knobs right here. And the way these work is you click on one and then you can drag your mouse up or down to move the slider. So you just click, hold down, and drag up or down. So you can see as I play this, and I'm going to go ahead and choose the repeat so it keeps playing it over and over, so we can hear how it sounds as I change it. So I'll hit play. Okay. So there's a couple examples of how the pitch button works. Let's try the format. Okay, now we can try the glide. And we'll try the mix. Okay. So, if you really mess yours up, what I would do is go back, click on no effect, and then I'll clear it out. And then if you want to try it again, you could go back to choose any of these. And, and most of these will have um, filters you can try. Some of them don't really have the, the vocal transformer because that's really what you want to change your vocals. Um, but you're welcome to try any of these filters and see what they do to your voice. And that's really all you have to do to try to change your voice in GarageBand. 